Hey friends, thanks for joining on this video. In today's video, we'll be learning about image hover effects and a few cool things you can do with them inside Show It. So I'll be covering three different effects. The first one is a hover to reveal a colored box with text underneath. The second is a hover to zoom in on the image. And the third is a hover to show a different image. So without further ado, let's get started. I will be using one of my templates from my shop to build out these options. And I already have the three images here ready to go. Uh, I have some text here kind of showing the three different options we're going to be covering. So first things first is you'll want to import your three images. I have them named image one, image two, and image three. So for the first one, what we're wanting to do is on the image, when it hovers, you want a color underneath with some text. So this is great for um, if you have like, for example, this was the original idea. So I have the couple's name underneath and like where the wedding took place. So I'm going to just go ahead and go down here, add a rectangle, and then I'm going to size it to the size of the image, drag it down underneath the image. So now I'm going to hide this image so I can see what I'm doing. Um, and I'm only showing you on desktop, but make sure that you're also doing this on the uh, mobile version too, so it doesn't bite you in the butt later. Okay, so now that we have this, I'm going to add a heading here, drag it over, let's change the color to white so it's visible, and we're just gonna make up a name, Joe and Jane. And do do, let's left align it. You can obviously do whatever you want. I'm gonna add a subheading, and we'll say that this can't see what I'm doing. That their wedding took place in Silverton. So oops, that says Dilverton. Okay, so now we have you know what we wanted to say. Granted, you could put the stuff in the middle if you want, align it here, but I'm gonna do bottom left corner. So now that we have this. Let's arrange it on mobile. And right now I'm actually doing a little hack. So if you copy the text attributes and then command shift V, it will copy that over to wherever you want it to. So it's a little shortcut. You're welcome. All right, so now we're gonna unhide this image and the text is on top so let's shift click and drag that underneath the image but still on top of the background so now we have image blah blah, blah but it's not going to do anything because we have to change the hover effect on this image so go to the hover tab once you select your image go down to custom and let's have it down to about 40 percent and we'll take half a second so let's preview and see what this looks like okay so here we have it hover Boom. So in this case, that's not very legible, right? So I would go back and I would probably drop this down to 20. Granted, if the background wasn't that purple, maybe it was black, you could see it a bit better. So just keep those things in mind when you're designing. There we go. So boom, beautiful. So that is one hover effect. And like I said, you can do anything you want with the design underneath the image. Um, Cause once you hover, whatever that design is, is what's gonna show. Now, if you, Never mind. let's move on. So we have the first one done. So the next one is image zoom. So what I want to happen is basically when you hover on this image, I want it to zoom in a little bit closer than, you know, the capture that's here right now. So I have my second image. I'm just going to copy and paste that command C command V. And I'm going to name this to like image 2.2, <laughs> drag it down underneath image two. Let's hide the first image, top image here. Now for the second image, like I said, what we want is for it to be zoomed in. So once I've selected the image over in the right panel, you're gonna do scale as your option. And let's bump this up to 150. Whoa, that's too big, 150. And then I'm just gonna adjust this so that, you know, it's a little bit more centered so that, you know, his head isn't cropping off. And I'm just kind of playing with the, uh, the adjustments here until I get what I want, okay? So now when you reveal, oh, let's do it on 
desktop too. Uh, never mind. Okay, we'll skip that. Make sure you're doing whatever you're doing on desktop on mobile, but I'll save time by not copying it over to mobile right now. So now when we show image two, this is what it's gonna do basically. So now with the top image selected, we're gonna go over to the hover effects, do custom, and we're gonna do, let's do, we'll start with, okay, opacity down to zero because you want the first image to go completely away. We'll start with 0.5 and see what that looks like. Scroll, 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 so boom, boom, beautiful. Maybe I want it to fade a little bit more. I can decide, you know, by playing with the time. Maybe I want it to take a full second. So let's see what that looks like. It's a little bit softer, not so, you know, quick and seizure-ish. So that is how to do an image zoom. And this is pretty cool. You could do it on images like this. You could do it on mockups, whatever you have, uh, just to kind of zoom in on that image a bit more. Okay. Now that one is done, moving on to different image. As you probably know by now after watching this part of the video, this is gonna be super simple. And let's just get started. So I'm gonna copy and paste just so the images are formatted the same, drag it down and hide the top image. So now we have the second image showing. I'm gonna go up here and I'm just gonna go in here and pick this one, beautiful. So. And it's bothering me because it's not centered. So I'm going to kind of try and adjust. Oh, can I not? Okay, never mind, because it's vertical. Ignore that. So now we have this image and this one on top. And I want them to change. So once again, as you probably know by now, you just simply go to custom on hover, drop it down to zero, adjust the time to whatever you want, and do 0.75. And boom, very simple. So these are the three effects for image hover that we went over in the video. Hopefully these help you in your project, updating your website, whatever you need to do. And as always, thank you for watching. Please support by either subscribing, liking this video, and if you have any questions or you know suggestions for these videos or future tutorials, please drop them in the comments below and I will get to them.